Here I got the MIMO view, the UM1080C, 10 inch capacitive touchscreen. So I have it running here with Windows 10. As you can see, the MIMO comes up on the Windows display settings as a uh, uh, monitor number two. And it is a touch screen, so as you can see, uh, touch is calibrated and it is plug and play with Windows. It uses the Windows touch controls. And uh, the only software needed is DisplayLink, which can be found on our website or on their website. And that just basically tells Windows or any other system, hey, this USB device is not only, it's not a keyboard or a mouse, it's a touch screen monitor. So, as you can see, it's already calibrated. But in the off chance that it loses calibration or um, anything like that, you go into Control Panel, Tablet PC Settings, Setup, hit Enter, touch the MIMO, hit Enter again, and it's calibrated once again. So I'm going to bring up Paint, show the touch functionality and the response. Beauty about this guy is he has a 10 point touch monitor. See, I just used all 10 fingers and it registered quickly and accurately. So, uh, um, yeah, the MIMO view is uh, the latest and greatest from MIMO. It, uh, it is a little more sleek. It's got the IPS screen. Resolution's uh, better to fit um, high, high resolution systems like Windows 10 at 1280 by 800. The base can be mounted to the table. The cable cannot be pulled out very easily, and there's additional USB power uh, uh, ports here in case your USB device doesn't push up enough power. We got you covered. V75 mounts here allow you to mount it in portrait and landscape mode. Beauty about uh, the MIMO view is it comes in touch, non-touch. There's an HDMI version for digital signage. And there's uh, and the HDMI version comes in touch and non-touch as well. So uh, regarding so it's compatible with Mac, Linux, Windows, Ubuntu, Android 5.0 and greater. And uh, with Ubuntu, Linux, and Android, we found out the newer versions are also plug and play, hit compliant. So the touchscreen works almost again upon uh, plugging the USB in. Just need that Display Link software. And uh, if you have older versions of Ubuntu, Linux, um, go, refer to our blog, and we have the steps and where you need to place files there. If not, we can, uh, our engineering team would be happy to help you set that system up. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you enjoy the view as much as we do. Thanks.